everyone. Today we are going to be making Gerald's life-saving grilled chicken sando. For that, we are going to be needing onions, butter, salt, pepper, parsley, California virgin olive oil, some bourbon, some bacon, some tomatoes, some chicken thighs, some gouda cheese, some nice crusty bread, some mixed greens, balsamic, and some French or Russian dressing. But this sandwich isn't going to make itself, so let's go. I'd also like to add in that this sandwich today comes from the Cooking for Wizards, Warriors, and Dragons cookbook, which is actually a really good cookbook, and I'm just now getting around to diving into it. Alright, the first step to our sandwich is going to be braising our onions, and for that we're going to need oil and butter in our pan. And once that melts, I'll show you the rest of it. Now that our butter and oil are very, very hot, we are going to be putting in our onions and letting those brown up for a while. And once our onions are starting to get brown, we're going to add our bourbon. And we're going to add our spices to it and give that a little while to caramelize. Now you'll notice we kept some of the onion residue in our pan, but we're going to use that for flavor so we can put our chicken in with it. Pour our garlic in over that. And let that get nice and brown on both sides. And when our chicken is starting to brown up on both sides and cook, we're going to add in our balsamic glaze. And once it's done cooking in the glaze, it'll look a lot like this. And to put it on our sandwich, we are going to be cutting it up. Because, yeah. <laughs> to get our sandwich started, we've heat up a pan to a nice medium-low heat. We're going to be placing our sourdough bread in, much like a grilled cheese. I've already taken the liberty of putting our dressing on and our cheese to start melting. We are going to take a moment and put those onions that we browned up all over our sandwich in a nice spread out thin layer as we can. Before we throw our sandwich together, I'm going to be adding our chicken to one side of it. Right, our sandwich is toasted up on both sides. We've added our tomato and our, um, almost said spinach. That's next. <laughs> tomato and our bacon, but the last thing we have is our mixed greens, which I seem to grab a lot of spinach, but I will even that out in a second. And then we'll cut it up and try it out. Okay, our sandwich is assembled and ready to eat. Let's look at the inside of that. Oh, it looks so pretty. I almost don't want to eat it. Yeah, too late. I totally do. Well, I've got to say that this sandwich is awesome. It has a nice combination of slightly sweet and savory. Almost reminds me of an Italian sandwich. But there's chicken. And the chicken has a slight sweetness to it because of the balsamic glaze. But I would make this again. It is awesome. You can toss a coin to all the witchers at this point because this is great. And you know the drill usually. Leave a like, tell me what you think, tell me what you would have done differently. And I'm going to finish my sandwich and see you in the next video.